like when we look at how Grady can look in his next step, his next process, it's mastering that corner spot. And I think so far he's done that. The next step is making plays out of the corner too. And for what it's worth, I think he has had moments where he's taking the ball, getting downhill, drawing the defense, or at the same time, if he's coming off of two pin downs, there's two guys already flying to him and he's making the pass over top or he's making the read to the extra open man. And so like those aspects are such a, he has such a high level of feel already for making reads and just making like the extra pass that eventually it'll start to expand out to the above the break shots and that'll work. Yeah. Some of those good turnovers as well as Samson likes to, yeah. likes to point out. He doesn't out. have a lot of them. No, cool. but there was, <laughs> there was one uh, last week, like right before, and I made a joke on about it on Twitter, like right before the media game, you were like, see, some turnovers are good. And I was like, are you priming us <laughs> for the turnovers you're going to make in this game? Uh, but yeah, being able to see those, those reads and anticipate what a defense is going to do, you know, that's, Usually that's a layer further, right? Like it's, mm. especially as a rookie, you know, we talk about this more with scorers who have the ball in their hand, but the first thing is, can you score? And then it's like, okay, can you score against the best defender? Yep. Okay, well now a defense is going to react to you. Maybe they send two things like that. Can you react to that? And then eventually it's like, okay, you're going to get trapped on every pick and roll. Can you handle that? And then that last layer is, can you anticipate what a defense is going to do and even manipulate them into doing what you want so you can open things up? And some guys don't get there, right? Like that's the point, in my opinion, Jason Tatum stuck on right now. He hasn't got to that level. He can react to what a defense does, yep. but he's not manipulating them. You're not overhauling your defense defense to, to take stuff away from Jason Tatum because of what he can do. I'm not saying Grady Dick's going to get to that, but as an off-ball guy, the evolution is kind of, okay, hit the corner three, okay, hit off of movement, and now, yeah, this is something Gary's improved that a lot as well, and Gary uses it more to get into his kind of sidestep long two package, mm -hmm. which on this team is a is an okay shot. Um, you know, on some in some team environments, you maybe wouldn't want that, and then to a lesser extent to get into that like elbow extended floater range stuff that he does. But with Grady, what you probably want to see is, can you get to the rim, first of all? Because that'll, you know, that'll speak to his burst and his, you know, strength, really. Like you mentioned, he has some nice finishes. Yeah. And, and I do, like, he's got that nice little attack out of the corner on the baseline, do a little reverse finish move. But he's also shooting, like, 59% or something like that at the rim. Like, he'll have to get stronger and finish that more. But that's one layer. And then, yeah, the layer you're talking about is, okay, well, then there's the laydowns and things like that. And yeah. then it's like, I'm going to come off of this, and I already know that that weak corner helps coming in case I get to the paint, and that guy's going to lift out of the corner when that help comes to the paint, and I'm going to swing that over, um, you know, to, to the wing part of, of the corner. And, and so it, the fact that he is seeing those things and reading those things pretty early is encouraging 